Let's talk about SmashCon. A, a terrific weekend and a return to form for majors everywhere. However, I don't care about the upsets. I don't care about who is there. I don't even care about the results. The only thing I care about is this moment. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Trying to go for the down air there. Is that what that was? Yeah. yeah. Oh! It wasn't a surrender at all. <laughs> Hope returns. It, 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 it wasn't a surrender at all. What? what, what no! Wait. No! Guys! No! He didn't! What the? Production! 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 What? What are you? Oh! That was, that was for the... Uh, <laughs> it's still just as funny. <laughs> This is still as funny as it is the first time I saw it. This might be the funniest thing I have seen in Smash ever. There is so much build up to this. Sora, a character from Disney, is added like a year ago. Never wins anything important. Gets picked as a fucking troll choice because the, 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 the top player stumbled on the character. So like, is it even here by the way? Not even in the shot. It somehow gets a win and the fucking Disney celebration. It's, it's, it's lightning at the Magic Kingdom. Fireworks. The power of friendship perseveres. And then Meister got fucked up and he lost the tournament. But this is honestly one of the funniest things that has ever happened in Smash. And, and I, it's, it's unbelievable. Production was on point too. My boy Devin, I didn't even notice this. Now this is funny enough. But what if I told you there is a behind the scenes shot of the same thing? This is Hungry Box. Uh, this is the person that's running the board down here. He's running production. Justin, the creator of Super Smash Con. This guy invented Super Smash Con. Watch this. It's it's truly amazing. <laughs> He is, he is hopping mad. He is hopping mad. <laughs> I have never seen such. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> oh no! Just in here, at risk of dropping the trophy, at risk of dropping the Smash Con Ultimate Trophy, is hopping mad. Look at this! No! No! And look at the confidence as he hits the button. I love this. Watch the con- Oh, he's about to hear something that's gonna change his life. Watch the confidence as he hits the button. Watch this. Boom! Oh, wait, he hit it before. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You realize something new every time you watch it. This guy's waiting for the go-ahead, right? He doesn't watch Smash. He doesn't know what the fuck is going on. And Justin behind him is screaming, no, no, no. And this guy hears, now, now, now. Go would also work. Go is, all there's a lot of people cheering. Honestly, the fact that so many, pe the fact that so many people were cheering for Sora only makes this moment even more magical. The fact that he could not hear the creator of SmashCon tell him not to do that because the will of the people was too strong. Everybody in that building wanted a show. Oh no! <laughs> oh, and Justin is furious. I see a gimmer. Well, so everybody here, everybody here has a different reaction. You could watch this clip a thousand times. It's different every time. Gimmer hit the sheesh. Watch this. Hello? <laughs> Look at Dill over here. Uh. Logic. Uh. Look at this fucking. Literally everybody in this, in this thing. It's a Renaissance painting. <laughs> the fucking H-Box, Arbiter of Chaos. Is delighted! Hbox sees dollar signs. He's making a video out of this. And I can't blame him too much because so am I. You're probably watching it right now on YouTube. But you know Hbox, Content Goblin, is ready. By the way, by the way, one little Easter egg at the end. He meant to do it. <laughs> he knew the whole time. So, you guys have seen the SmashCon venue, I presume. 
So anyway, it's this big stage like this. And in the back of the venue, I'm trying to get a good picture. They have a bunch of, I don't even know what these are called. Air bean bags? Oh my god, it actually came up. They used to have actual bean bags, but it's like these, okay? And uh, the reason that I bring this up is that I had a lot of great fan interactions at Smashcom. Got to meet a lot of people, sign a bunch of stuff, shake a lot of hands. On Saturday night, I was so drained. I'm laying in one of these, okay? And remember, there's Smash Karaoke happening. And I'm sitting in one of these, and I have my hat like this. Which is the international sign for, I sleep. No less than three people, three people came up to me and talked to me. And not talked to me, talked at me. And listen, if you're here, I'm not mad at you. Just please, you gotta read the signs better. Please. Because I tried to do everything that I could to be like... I, I, was, I was really trying to give off polite, like, I don't want to talk energy. And it happened to me three times in a row. So, I, I, I just... Listen, 90% of people, 95% of people were great. You come up, take a picture, fist bump, uh, talk a little bit, you know, sign something, and then we go, and then, and then it's fine. Not a big deal. But I was so drained. Please... Just read the room. <laughs> but that's all I had to. That's it. I just I had I had a lot of great interactions, but so I have a confession. I have something that I'm going to tell you that I have not said before. I really, really did not want to do the smashies this year. I really didn't want to, and I'm not kidding. And honestly, I'm glad that I did. I did have fun with it. Smashies are are uh, an, if you don't know, smashies are an award show that happen. Uh, oh yeah, I got this entrance. Dude, they told me to walk out. I hate walkouts. And so I do the fucking walkout. And I get the high five from everybody, right? Oh my god, this with the music. Twitch chat was probably brutal. This is probably so brutal. I didn't know how much music was left. And so I'm doing this, right? There's so much music left. I'm on stage with nothing to do. What? What? what now, now what do I do? Now what do I do? How do I stall here? I'm not dancing. I think I'm supposed to dance. I don't dance. So I just walk around awkwardly while people cheer for eight more measures. My ass is dying up there. I'm just stranded. By the way, they told me to make a big show of taking the mask off. And I was like, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> what do you mean make a big show about it, K Kona? I'll just take it off. <laughs> anyway, I'm all, I'm up here dying inside. I'm looking at the camera like, help me. Someone help. Bro, my haircut guy fucked me up. <laughs> I got my haircut the week before, and I am not happy. It looks fine, I guess. Felt like an hour, but why they gotta hold the note so long? Wait a minute. Why you have to hold that note for six seconds? So anyway, I did some quips. Uh, Mango won something. <laughs> and, you know, he comes out. And he, he says his thing. And then he leaves. And I was going to come back up. Right here, I was going to be like, Wow, everybody give it up for Mango. Top 10 in Melee for 15 years. Man. What a streak. <laughs> you know, in my mind, it's, it's silly. Right? But uh, I didn't want to get... Fucking jumped. <laughs> Should have done it. I think he would have beat my ass. He won the tournament the next day. At one point during this, uh, I'm doing crowd work. Here's me talking to you directly. I got a big head. Damn, I have a small face. You know what? I, You know, as somebody who lives in my head, I live in my fucking head. Like, I, I can't... I can't see my head... Like most people can see my head. Oh my god, there's so much blank space. Good lord. <laughs> what happened to me? I, I asked people to raise their hand if it was their first tournament. And a lot of people raised their hand. And a lot of people said that they came in during the pandemic. Which is crazy. I thought Smash was dead. Like, I, I think 50% of the crowd put their hands up. 
Anyway, it was, it was, I did not want to do Smashies. I'm glad I did. I think people had a lot of fun. It was fun. It was fine. It was silly. But the thing I did want to do, on the Wednesday before SmashCon, Justin comes up to me. He's like, hey, we got the stage. I was like, word? He's like, yeah, you can do whatever you want. I'm like, whatever I want. And so I did a little fun game. Well, first off, Justin cut me a bunch of prizes. He went around all the vendors at SmashCon and got me a bunch of free shit. And honestly, I want to do this for the rest of my life. If I could just be a fucking carny at, at majors, that's all I care about. He got a bunch of prizes, including a Smashy, by the way. Because they didn't pick Smash. Some people didn't pick up their Smashy, so that was there too. And I said, all you have to do is run up and name one fighting game character. Run up to the mic, just name one. And we had a big crowd. Look at this. And of course, dude, there was a scramble to the mic. Look at this. Watch this. Everybody come up now. Make a line. Be order. Oh my god. Oh, dude. And I, I had a bunch of fighters on there. Some of them easier, I thought, like Johnny Cage. And some of them not. I had fucking Faust on there. I was stressing the night before that I made it too easy. I was panicking. I thought I would have no prizes left at the end of this. So I'm going to give you these Mickey Mouse cloth face masks. Oh, yeah, I have Mickey Mouse cloth. There's a lot of shitty prizes. <laughs> oh, 10 minutes before I did this, I went up to Papa John's. I was like, hey, I'm running a game show. Can I have some prizes? They said, here's $150 in pizza. Are you fucking kidding? I'm not. Okay. Did you take it? Hell yeah, I took it. What the hell? So anyway, I did this, and it was a lot of fun. The reason I bring it up, uh, I... I don't want to say expect to see this more at events because I think SmashCon is one of the only events that can make this work. I would love to do this more. I fucking love this. And I have a ton of ideas for it. I wanted to do Will It KO, which is not the same as Will It Kill because you don't kill people in Smash. You KO them. Um, what was up with the guy at the end of EE's e Ariel stream at the bar? <gasps> oh my god, dude. Thank you so much. Okay, hold on. EE e is doing a side stream. Right? He's doing an IRL stream after events, as he does. I'm right there. There's your boy walking through the rain. I don't even need an umbrella. And then, <laughs> we're all just chilling outside, and this happens. Yeah, we just talked about it. No way. Yeah, we're going to start talking about it. Yeah. All right, cool. There you go, the homie right there. Like I said, you guys have a wonderful, blessed rest of your night. Thank you for tuning in. What's up, man? You're like, you about to press me. What's hey, good? Cool. Uh-oh. It's like a Five Nights jump scare. EE -E didn't wind the box. Fuck off. I like Get that. Get your camera off me. Oh, my bad, dog. I'm if sorry. If you want to speak, we can speak. Get your fucking camera off me. My bad, man. I'm sorry, brother. I thought you were from the Smash what Tournament. Would you like to yeah. I would like to talk about. Oh, you want to talk? All right, I'm down. What am I? What, recommend me a good drink. I love how EE -E is trying to de-escalate the situation. A, a, a smooth talker to the end, bro. <laughs> A silver tongue. It's gotta be something with tequila. Come inside. Come inside? All right. See, I done made a new friend already. Yeah, so I this guy. Thank you for tuning in. What's up, man? You like. This fucking. <laughs> this fucking guy was just standing there behind EE -E for like 30 seconds. And I'm actually calling people over at this point quietly, like as they walk by to go to somewhere else. And I'm like, hey, because I don't know if we gotta jump this guy. And I'm not kidding. Like, I, I don't drink. I have a very bad radar of how a drunk person is going to act. I have a bad gauge. I think everybody that's drunk is going to swing all the time. I think it's a headbutt all the time. I have no gauge for that. So this guy, I think, I'm going to have to choke this guy out. Like, EE e and I are going to have to, like, hold this guy down, right? I don't I don't know. Not like I want to. I'm not trying to sound like a tough guy. It's just we're several people and we might need a group. But then later, <laughs> I'm talking about stuff with Light and uh, it was me, Light, Skiff, Scabs, and EE e. and Charles were like coming in and out. And we were just talking about stuff. And this guy comes by and sits like next to us, but not really, like a little bit off. And he's just mumbling to himself. And... I'm like, I can't tell what he's saying. He's like, and I ignore it. And he's starting to get mad because nobody's answering it. But while Light and I are talking, like he's not waiting for a lap at the conversation. He's like, how much was the prize? How much was first prize? And we just ignore him. Now I'm not facing this guy. He's sitting behind me. 
but like I'm giving everybody in front of me a look like, like keep me posted so anyway he doesn't do anything he goes back inside and that's the end of my story but God bless thank you for reminding me of this guy I guess we should talk about the actual tournament so of course as you guys see Onan won Onan a 16 year old from Michigan who has never lost a major wins Super Smash Con 2022 a lot of people are mad at Steve, right? Because Steve looks uh, kind of stupid. He's just kind of sitting there throwing smash tags, minecart, back air, or whatever. This character looks dumb. Character silly, best in the game, no question. I saw a lot of people that are going the extra mile. They're like, do we ban this character? Do we need to get rid of him? We need to do it right away. There's only one Steve in the top eight. And yeah, there are a lot of Steves in top 16. No, not even. There's only one other Steve in top 16. d Dog. Okay. Now, there's eight in top 64. There have also been eight Robs in several top 64s. So, you know, uh, whatever. Look at Bayo's in top eight. Oh, this is... <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Six out of eight. Listen, if we get here, we can get rid of Steve. If we get to this point, Steve's gone, okay? But this isn't enough yet. I am not annoyed by Steve. I'm really not. Yet. Give it, like... Six months, because I did see moments of it. And that set with Light and Meister, kind of, there were moments where these two very light characters had to play around this obscene obstacle course of tricks and traps. It's just antics all over the stage. The whole character hate thing is like, I don't think it's as bad as it used to be. There is a, uh, there are a lot of parallels to be drawn between Bayonetta and Steve, not in the way that you think, in terms of like, oh, they're both strong and killing the game. If you remember back in the Bayonetta times, it was like these 16, 15, 17 year old kids would show up with Bayonetta who previously had, you know, a, 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 not great results and started winning a bunch of shit. Steve's doing the same thing now. The interesting thing to me is that Steve doesn't have the element of, uh, and I'm not going to sugarcoat this. Steve doesn't have the element of homophobia. <laughs> there is always this underlying current of homophobia. Do you guys not know? Were you guys not around for this? Okay, there's a lot of question marks. So either you guys are being annoying or you don't know. There was always this undercurrent of homophobia that was beneath the Bayonetta hate. The Bayonetta hate was, you know, a lot of people just hated the character, which is fine. Some of the people hated the players, which is weird. And then some of the people were like, that player is... You know, and they, they drop some slurs or talk some uh, egregious shit. And thank God Steve at least doesn't have that. At least Steve is, you know, I mean, people are still DMing Owen and telling him to kill himself, which is weird, especially because, you know, these are grown men. But there are a lot of parallels between the two characters. It's just like people perceive this player hasn't earned his spot. What I think should happen, personally, if I had my druthers, uh, you... If you think Steve is so bad, I want you to pick him up. And I want you to kill the game. And then leave it up to the people organizing shit to save it. I want you to all pick up Jake. Or pick up Jake. Pick up Steve like Jake did. Like Onan did. Like, you know, all these other players did. It just went. And a lot of people will say, no, it's too late then because the meta is adapted and the players have picked him up. But I don't think that's true. I think if everybody picked up Jake... Jesus Christ, I, I, the chat is saying Jake, and now I'm saying Jake. <laughs> if there are 60... It's just because it's a fucking normal name. I gotta stop reading chat. If there are six Steves in a top eight, I I think that Smashers and, and top players would be like, okay, we're, we're happy to be done with this. And at the end of the day, I don't really tweet about this or really care about it all that much because I'll commentate whatever you put in front of me. If the game dies or doesn't die, I don't really give a shit. I love Ultimate. I want it to survive, right? But, like, if there's going to be eight Steves in top eight, I'm going to commentate eight Steves. I don't care. I have fun watching the character. So, 